that, right? Yuri said, yeah, she ready to go, yes. right? Yeah, tell and me, Yuri. Yuri did Who? Yuri no. the, the CEO of the company right here. You're the CEO of the company, right? Uh, go ahead. That bitch. That did it. Who? Mine. <laughs> you said mine. In that order. She already claimed the ownership. Don't play like that. This is Yuri Lynn. Okay? This is Yuri Lynn. Say hi. Hi. And this is Smile's own, which is the owner, the CEO of the company, Brooklyn Kitchen. Today is her launch of her company. I am like super proud of her. Thank Smiles you, own. Talk, talk to the people, them. Thank you, friend. Thank tell you, the, thank tell you. the people, them, a little about yourself. And look at your. Tell the people a little about yourself, how you started your company, what inspired you, and what made you wanted to just launch today and say, you know what, that's it. I'm about to do this. <laughs> friend, you've been my friend for a few years now. Indeed. Um, I always want to do a lot of things. I'm very creative in a lot of ways. And um, the problem is... The problem was... Was... I have to bring light. <laughs> I have a great baby father, and he makes me not work hard. So I feel like sometimes I shouldn't work hard, but I'm very creative, I'm very talented. Come say hi. Come say hi, baby daddy. He's on a grill now. <laughs> we won't get but, um, him. I wanted, I started cooking recently. I'm not even lying to y'all. My mom did all the cooking from her. It was my grandmother from my grandmother. I have this great aunt. We used to go to our house and do Thanksgiving, everything. and. I lived with her for a summertime and I would cook with her all the time. And I'm like, Ugh. then I moved to Queens. This is where it started. Oh, Queens. Queens. Here ain't that. <laughs> so, so we outside in that order. Queens made me do this. You know I gotta get ratchet from my hood. Okay. It made me do this. Cause y'all do not have no, 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 no. Good food out here. <laughs> that is definitely a lie. <laughs> no good food. I'm about to say, I don't know. Southside, no, I'm not lying. It's about n five nice places. For this to be a whole that, hood, that's true. five I nice places is not enough. Brooklyn. It's not enough. To... You got to go on the other side of Queens to get food. Mm -hmm. I got to go to Long Island or Merrick to make sure y'all give me some she, good she's food. Not, she's not lying about that. It's about, five, lying. it's about five spots that's in Queens. And this is Queens. We all drive. Mm -hmm. yeah? that's a whole we drive. Thing. We drivers. And there's only like five places I could think in my head when we said that like, but I really go to actually eat out because I'm a cookie. I love to cook. So Everybody cook. Everybody have a house out here. Everybody also have a business. And it's not really consist of cooking. And the ones that's cooking, the food is like bland. They don't really care. They just want our money. And the hospitality is horrible. That's a whole fact. You've seen it. We went out to eat to had a franchise, a large franchise. Fridays. And the food was horrible. Oh, horrible. That's a whole fact. Horrible. Rockaway Fish House. Trash. Boom, even boom, boom. even um yeah I said it the 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 um Bronx the BBQs that's on Linden back in the days they used to be so good oh that rib thing that everybody yeah, keeps no, telling the me the rib shack that's what it's called oh, that whatever it is trash. it's trash yeah. and a black man run it and he got all of the Arabs in there I am mad at him and I told him that this nigga gave me some said, runny ass ribs one I time I told him that Look I said I'm not paying man. for none of this I taste everything and I said take that back to the kitchen. I said, let me taste that sweet potato pie. Oh, no. I don't do it. He gave me sweet so. potato pie. It didn't even taste like a white soul. I didn't have white people food who had soul. That what? food was bleh. Horrible. Bleh. Horrible. Can't put some brown. I said, are you serious? And then even the bar was horrible. I said, how the hell you make horrible drinks? <laughs> Nigga. Yo, I said, yo, let's get out of here. We out of here. Niggas, it's bitch, they food since that we out of here. So what, so what inspired you for your menu that you created for your launch? My friends and family, what they like, what they, you know, what they request. So today was about a request. So Brooklyn Kitchen. Yes, That is yes. a very unique name. I know that you yes. lived in Brooklyn. You grew up in Brooklyn. Of course. That's your borough. So Brooklyn Kitchen, did you just choose that name because you were from Brooklyn? And is your kitchen, how'd you come with your name? Um, it's more of a... Um, it's more of a bring Brooklyn to Queens. Or we gonna bring Queens to Brooklyn. Cause she does delivery. Oh yeah. And yeah. When, and when she told me she does delivery, it was so crazy. Cause she said, I'm doing delivery, I'm doing local delivery. So I said, okay, you know, 1435, 1433. All right. So she said, no, I'm to Brooklyn. I'm going to 11208, baby. I said, well, hold up, that's in Brooklyn. I could never forget Brooklyn. She was All like, right. it's eight minutes never. away. I said, wow. <laughs> Wow. That's how it goes. So that was, that was, that's, that's pretty dope. That's what raised me. That's where I was born. So what's one of your favorite dishes that you love to make? 
I don't have one, but one of my favorite baked dishes was zucchini bread. Zucchini bread? Zucchini. Zucchini bread. Yes. Really? Wow. My yes. I never had that. Have I could bake. I'm not a fan of zucchini, but I'm a fan of bread. Right? So we might okay. have to Listen, have a I have some cornbread right over there. I'm actually giving it away for free. And the cornbread is really good. My mom made it, though, y'all. I didn't make it, guys. Do you have, okay. like, a, a, a she has a special ingredient that she put in her cornbread? Um, I think so, because when she made that cornbread, she made it pretty quick. <laughs> and okay. nobody know how to make this cornbread, but her. <laughs> so okay. I think it is. <laughs> Mama cornbread, oh. so, it's so it's a team effort. It's a team effort. Yes, yes. I, I had a lot of support. Um, I don't have... As y'all can see, I'm launching. This is my first time. And I'm telling you, I had about four people in here with me. Nice. Four people. And they didn't ask me for a penny or nothing. Because they wow. were there to help you and support you. And as I always say, teamwork make the dream work. And let me tell you, I had this lovely friend right here who owned this show. Must say, this is my fashion junkie show. <laughs> show. You're right. And now. I mean, she did some nice footwork for me. My son, this is what you have to do. And I did this in how long, friend? Like three days. Three days. It's My backyard fat. chain. 